Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph for Press Rise for Minecraft 115. Today I think it's time to go off to the end and we'll, next time we'll carry on with that, a new program uh, with variables. But today I would like to go to the end because I would like to get the Jet Boots Tier 5. For that we need an Elytra. So let's get started. I haven't got very many things with me. I actually have got some micro missiles. They're quite good fun. We'll probably play with these things as well. <laughs> They're good, actually good fun to play with. I've also got some coal and some wood in case I need to make any torches. Bucket probably don't really need, but we've got the jet boots, which makes life almost too easy for the Ender Dragon. Um, I've got seven Ender. I already know where it is, to be honest with you. So let's just throw one of these up and see which way it's going to take us. And they're always hard to f Ooh. Where did that go to? Oh, over there. Okay. So, let's put the jet boots on. Make sure we've not got builder mode on. And we just... F I've got builder mode on, so I'll turn it off. And I shall see you when we're nearly there. Well, I found my entrance that I had before last time. I found it last time, so let's go down here and turn off the jetpack. Don't need the jetpack now. And we'll see if we can go and find the um, the fortress. It's somewhere down here. I can't remember exactly where because I've lost my I've lost my uh, marks on the um, G on the journey map. It's strange. Anyway, I'll see you when I get nearer to it. Oh, <laughs> talking about that, straight into the library. I've cleared this library out and I've got all of the books out of here. Well, not the books. I've got the stuff from the chests out of here. And it's reasonably well lit up. So now I have to go and find the... For you can see I've lit up the whole of this fortress, uh, stronghold here. So we shouldn't have too much difficulty finding it. So I'll see you in a short while when we're nearer the, that portal. That didn't take very long. I did have, <laughs> I did mark everything out. In fact, I've got a chest here, and I have got some uh, eyes of Ender in here anyway. So let's get started. That's that's obsidian because I stood on the lava and the um, and the uh, and it got put out. I broke the chest that where the silver the silverfish spawner that's here. So let's get on. We'll turn we'll turn on the jetpack before we go out and let's have a look. Okay, good. And the dragon. Now <laughs> let's find a way out of here. I've got my this pickaxe, which has now got efficiency on it. So let's go and dig a way out of here. So we can. I don't know which direction to go, and it's just a guess. Actually, the last couple. Oh, here we go. Didn't take long, did it? So of course, with two things on this, I've got the. Uh, I've got my bow, got flight, so it's pretty straightforward to blow those up. Maybe I'm a bit close. Oops, a bit not close far enough. There we go. These ones are also fairly straightforward because we've got ore excavation. And because we've got our <laughs> excavation, we all have to come reasonably near this. I can see that the dragon's... Oops. And we can just all excavate this away. If I stay still, that is. I didn't stay still. Let's hold down the alt key and press it like that. So we then get that one, so that's dead easy, that. Oops, get the bow into my hand, of course. Now, while he's flapping, we can do that. But let's just get rid of it, all of these before we do anything else I guess that's that far away oh no nope. so actually I don't have any regen with me which is a bit of a shame but I did bring some bottles so let's go and get this up here if we can no nope, got them all so we'll have to eat, of course. Oops, I've forgotten about this. Actually, we can shoot the the miss missiles at that guy, but I didn't want to do that onto the bow. That's obviously this cloud of 
stuff over let's get some more of the dragon's breath I was thinking about it let's go ahead and get some more up here where have we got some this one over there that shouldn't be too difficult to get rid of that one's burning let's get this one over here higher nope I'm gonna have to go and fly to this one then aren't I <laughs> been got again actually I'm not sure if it's just attacking me in this particular case or what looks like I've got to eat again come along here shift down a bit and hold down the alt key so we can get rid of this lot It's not doing very well here. Let's just I need to hold down the alt key while I'm here, but I'm pressing this the wrong button. There we go. I wonder if a micro missile works on this thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's convenient. I think we're actually sorted out. I don't see any more. No. Right, so we can now start attacking the dragon. Maybe even missiles will actually work on the dragon as it happens. I'm just not sure. I don't see why they shouldn't. But anyway, we've got a boat. We can use the boat. Oops. Should be some dragon's breast up here. Let's go and get these. Hmm, not judging that very well today. It's probably too far away. this dragon's breath I want to get as much dragon's breath as I can before I have to kill the before we kill the dragon but you haven't done any much damage so far oh, there we go let's try these micro missiles at him they're definitely following him around. <laughs> but they don't seem to be hurting him very much, so we'll have to use the... The bow. The best time to get him, of course, was when he's doing his... D his grounding stuff. Which is going to come up now, I think. So I have to eat. And then we have to go down. Maybe the sword's better anyway. You'll notice that the air is also is behaving quite well as well. I mean, the air pressure in the suit. And the reason for that... Sorry. is because we've got... Um, oh, we've got to concentrate a little bit, haven't I? <laughs> I don't seem to be doing him too much. I can't see if he's regenerating. He looks like he's regenerated, but... I don't see any more crystals. No, no, he's not regenerating. He's half up. Do 
you know, I don't know what it means when he's breathing fire. I think that probably means he's on his way down to do his his business. Right, let's get downstairs. health have I suffered there? Not too much damage. Let's have a quick eat. Okay, I've got 20 on bottles to fill up here. Let's go and get those filled up. He's almost dead. Let's just kill him off with the sword. Actually, might as well pick up this. Somebody is targeting me. I think it was this one. Now, of course, it's time to get XP. This guy's a, this one's the aggroed one, but with this sword, it's a one hit. It's a one hit. Oops, missed him. Where's he gone to? <laughs> there we go. And we get about I don't know how many ender pearls we get from that, just two in this particular case. But this sword is really effective. So let's just get as you can see. If I can catch up with them. How many ender pills do I get? Six from four from four kills, which isn't too bad, is it? Eight. Sometimes you actually get four. Then we get ten. So that's two. Twelve. Okay, I'm getting two per two per hit on this sword at the moment. I didn't get any of that time. <clears throat> right. So the next thing to do is to go and find it. Is to go and find an ender uh, end city. So here's the portal. So let's get started with this portal. I should probably mark this mark this bit here where the dragon's egg is. So let's do that first of all. And I don't want to go down here just yet. So let's just go up and just mark it. So put a marker in here. Oh, minus one, minus one. Uh, I'm gonna say um, what we're we gonna call this one, dragon's egg. Save that. Oops. Now, here's the here's the thing. We've got plenty. We've got enough uh, ender pearls to fly through this thing anyway. I thought that took me about ten minutes to do the ender dragon. I suppose you can do it faster than that, to be honest with you. Let's take these out of here and put the ender pearls in their place. Fly up again. And throw the ender pearl in. So hopefully we get it. No. Nope. Oh yes, I did. Right. <laughs> so now where are we? <clears throat> We're on some island, and I shall be back in a short while when I've found an end city. There's one over here, and oh, no, that's not an end city. I'll be back in a short a short while when I find an end city. See you in a while. Well, that took a while. <laughs> I can tell you. So, we found the boat. I'm not going to do anything special around here, but we can have a look at the micro missiles. They're pretty neat. neat. In fact, we might as well take the, the head while we're here. Oops. I think I heard it. Oops, pressing the wrong button, sorry. Let's go to builder mode. Builder mode's a lot easier. And I should be able to break this head without any problem. In builder mode, there we go. So now, where is the elytra? Just below here, isn't it? What we can do actually, we can use the the, multi, the missiles. So if they actually, if they go straight, then there's no, nothing there, like that. If they go around the corner like this, 
We can use that to, as an indicator to show you where mobs are. So there we are. There we got him. Any more around here? As you can see on the minimap, there's some more around here. So let's just... They'll be down here. So let's just see if this missile will cope with them. No. Oh, I can see another lighter floating around here. <laughs> just what we needed. Perfect. So then we've got some chests. Oh, we might as well break these two chests. There are some diamonds in this one. In fact, my inventory is getting a little bit full. I have been doing a few bits and pieces, like collecting um, some end stone. We probably need some end seeds, so we've got some of that. Plus some glass and some chests and a head we don't need. Put the elytra safely away in here. And of course, we've got some of those. We've actually got uh, 12 shulker shells, um, shells, which is good, not essential, because we've got these reinforced chests which are basically doing the same thing so let's just break that I didn't bring the thing with me <laughs> but you'll see how easy it was to break those two so let's just break these I should have enough space now to break those but there are a lot of mobs around here somewhere or other I'm not sure where they are. This will be instant health in here normally. is potion of healing. Okay, we'll take it. It's always handy to have... Oh, there's one. Look. I suppose the easiest way to do this is to break this block here like that. Take the missiles and just shoot him. Like that. <laughs> as easy as that, really. <laughs> and there's another one somewhere as well. Where's the other one gone to? You can break the glass, of course, with this. This pick has got silk touch on it, which, of course, is something you need. Where is he now? If you're never sure, just shoot one out. See where it goes to. Bam. Okay. <clears throat> right, so there's one above us. So let's just go and have a look at him. I'm not sure if they get the other bits. But they're very handy. And I do like those micro missiles. They're pretty decent. The ones I haven't made these, I traded for them. So now it's time to go back to base. I have marked the portal. I should really mark this entity because we haven't done this entity. So let's just mark the entity here. Um, if I ever need any more. Shulker shells, we've got a space we can come back to. In fact, I found two. The other, the other city didn't have them. So now, over there is home. So let's just fly over there. Turn off the builder again. Because you fly a lot faster. You'll notice now, <clears throat> I think we've got enough. My armour is starting to lose pressure. Um, that's probably because we've run out of fuel at base. I, what I didn't tell you is what I did. Is to um, use some chunk loaders just around where the um, uh, the coal generator is. So where they've got the coal generation, we've got some uh, chunk loaders there. Well, I'll have a look at those when we get back home. So I'll see you when I get back home, I think. Or well, when we get to the, the portal, anyway. Might as well take the egg while we're here. <clears throat> right, broken down there. Dead easy to get the egg. You know how to do this, I'm sure. So we just go down two blocks here. One across. Put a torch down there. Break this one. And we get the egg. Just like that. So, right. Time to go back. And sure enough, we're back at home. Perfect. Well, I forgot to get some end rolls. So let's, let's build this um, Jet Boots Tier 5 upgrade. So the first thing we need to do is to make some end rods. And the recipe for end rods, this is the actual recipe here. The recipe for that, we can actually make them with one pops chorus fruit and some blaze rods. We just oh, actually makes four, so we just need to pop one chorus fruit. Um, I don't think there's any of these uses for these, but we'll do that anyway. That comes out here like this. And then we just need one blaze rod and that, and that should allow us to build the uh, end rods. So there's four on notice, so let's do that. And then we should be able to make these. We need to take out our existing boots, of course. Let's do that first of all, before I forget again. <laughs> oh, I need to put those into there and then take the Jet Boots Tier 4 upgrade out because that's the key part of the, of the five. 
and then we should be able to just I think we've got everything we need so we've got um, dragon's breath we've got um, I think that's basically dragon's oh, elytra I didn't get the elytra out of the chest so let's get the elytra out of the chest here so we can then do that now of course this won't craft because it's missing these two so we just have to remember the recipe is pretty straightforward ready one of those or one of those four end rods around the corners one boots in the middle and two vortex cannons should give us the jet boot tier five fantastic i have to break this because i haven't got my pickaxe uh, my it's in the other chest there's no point in taking stuff that you don't need to go on these adventures, do you, basically? So let's put that into there. And let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to put those on again, of course. You'll see these things, because I've got maxed out things. Now, you'll notice here I've actually got a problem. This one's hanging here. And the reason it's hanging here is it, it must have run out of um, um, wood essence. So what I have to do to do that is to get around it. It's supposed to basically fix the program. But you'll see here I've got a single chunk loader and here. So one of those is, is powering this up here. And the other one is powering um, this area where the, where the, where the farm. So this one's powering the farm. And the other one is powering the... Um, a compressor gosh jumping a bit I'm strong at the moment right so let's test this now it's coming up to night time but I don't think that matters very much what I would like to do is just to fix this so the easiest way to fix it is to break the drone <laughs> try that again I want to use a sword don't I yeah and you'll see I've picked up 64 coal essence because I think there's probably a little bug in that program so maybe we'll have to look at that bug another time and then all I need to do is put the drone down again and it should this time actually work supply drone here because it has got enough you'll see it's actually got enough charcoal it will not fill up it will in fact use up more than we've got here I think and that's where the bug comes into so it's taken 12 it'll do that another few times like this and 27 and I think we'll probably run out of wood essence before it's finished so the first thing it does is supposed to do when it's when it's finished is come back and so that will be charging up now and our, our armor should be getting some more pressure which it probably is so while that's doing that let me quickly go and get some more wood essence because we've got plenty of wood essence out here I thought I had enough growing obviously i haven't so maybe i'll have to add some more wood essence so one stack of 10k two stacks so that'll be fine <laughs> i think i've got my night vision on so it looks like daytime and it indeed is night time so let's go and put this outside and then the, then it just has a chance not to to break in fact yes it's on its way back again and now our armor is getting yes it's 8.5 it was 8 point something before wasn't it so let's put the jet boots on and see how fast these go and normally what happens here is when we've we will sink so let's have a look see if we do sink with jet boots four we sank a little bit and i think with jet boot five we just stay exactly where we are let's go and land here and then just fly if I go back again if we if we've not gone down at all we should just go back onto the same spot we've gone down a little tiny weeny bit I think but that might be because I was pointing down like this because you point in the direction you're going in unless I've got builder mode on and I don't think I've yes I haven't got builder mode enabled so let's just test that again So at this point, if I just fly here forwards, straight with the with the mouse pointer, it should be able to come back here. It's definitely not dropping down as it did before. Great. 
it looks like it has done a little bit but I'm seeing I'm standing here and we're not moving at all fantastic so we've really got the correct equivalent to creative fight but with this thing we go way much much faster we see you've got some those were the <laughs> three markers I had for the end for the portal for the stronghold Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, next time we shall be looking at some programming with variables. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.